Good morning. So I don't know about you, friends, but Greg and I um, basically are fasting from watching the news these days. It's pretty unsettling and um, anxiety causing. Portland has made the national news for quite some time now because of all the riots going on and the destruction going on in our city. Um, I've had friends from around the country call and say, are you okay? What's going on? Um, what's, what's behind all this anger? And I just always think it's Satan. It's like he comes to kill, steal, and destroy, right? So rather than focusing on that, I've chosen to just spend more time in prayer and in the word and um, standing on God's promises and the devotion today by Johnny talks very specifically about this. So it's, it's really cool how timely these devotions from her have been. And she calls it a victorious peace. The verse is, the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. That's Romans 16, 20. Loss is a part of life woven into its very fabric. Futures are altered. Dreams are ripped apart. Families can grow distant. Friends can slip away. I'm grateful my losses are redeemed by God. In my despair, I have reached out to him, and he has rescued me. As a result of yielding to Jesus at the time of my greatest loss, I have found great peace. Sadly, some people turn from God in their loss. Satan offers them a false peace through self-pity. It makes me so angry. Not at these people, but at the devil. I want to jump out of my chair and scream at the havoc that Satan wreaks. I'd like to grab the adversary by the scruff of his neck and throttle him senseless for hurting people. If I were to dwell on it long enough, my frustration over the devil's dirty deeds would overwhelm me. But God has a hopeful word that sets my heart at peace. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Now we all know that Christ will reign victoriously, but the victory involves me personally. Satan will be crushed under my feet. At the risk of sounding vengeful, picture this. You and I will have the privilege of flattening Satan like a cockroach under our feet, or in my case, under the wheels of my 250 pound wheelchair. God's righteous wrath and our sanctified sense of justice will form the furious weight that crushes our enemy. No matter how great your losses may seem, a day is coming when victory will be yours. As you believe this promise, you will experience peace in the face of your anger and anxiety. Surrender to God's future victory and find peace for your soul. Victorious Savior, as I experience pain, confusion, anger, and worry over the losses in life, guide me to your peace by helping me remember that Satan's future is a crushing defeat. I don't think about that verse very often, but it's very powerful. in the God of peace, because isn't that what we are praying for in Portland in our lives right now? It's peace. And I really do believe it's the enemy wreaking havoc. Um, causing people to doubt their faith and react in anger and frustration. Um, and we can crush them under our feet right now just through fixing our eyes on Jesus. I believe that is what crushes Satan is when we, um, well, it's like when Jesus was tempted in the wilderness. He just used the word of God every time to um, crush Satan's attempts to get him to sin. So, um, yeah, we don't even have to wait for the future to crush the enemy under our feet personally. So let's just pray for the wisdom and the strength to do that right now. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the promises. And that's a promise to all of us that the God of peace will soon crush Satan under our feet if we are followers of Jesus. And show us how to do that on a daily basis as well with the promises in your word and the comfort of your spirit, Lord. Um, when things rise up to wreak havoc in our souls and in our lives, I pray that we can just continually fix our eyes on Jesus, who will keep us in perfect peace when we um, 
make a habit of doing that. So I pray for your perfect peace to rest in the hearts and the minds of all my friends and that they would just um, take strength and comfort and encouragement from that verse we read today. Thank you, God of peace, that we will soon crush Satan under our feet. By the name and the blood of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.